one of the major application domains of uh, this mechanisms with money is that in the uh, context of internet advertising so internet advertising is a broad umbrella term used for uh, advertising on uh, on search pages or on social networking pages and several other parts of the internet and this is one of the major uh, sources of uh, revenue for this uh, platforms so the there are uh, various reasons why internet advertising is very successful and uh, over the the traditional form of advertising uh, the first reason is the user data the advertiser can gather a lot of data from the user to design very targeted products so targeted advertises uh, uh, advertisements so that is uh, that is not possible in the traditional form of advertisement uh, one can also take measurable actions so once it can characterize the uh, put the buyers into certain categories uh, then then the uh, advertisers can measure the interest and then take appropriate action so maybe if someone is um, uh, watching a specific kind of a product page multiple times or a specific kinds of uh, uh, youtube videos or uh, uh, facebook pages then one may target that kind of an, uh, users because of their uh, actions that they have taken. And also it, it has a very low latency. So uh, one can actually do this uh, bidding on the real time. Uh, the, the bidding could, could be automated and decisions, uh, certain decisions that can be made on the, on the fly. So all these things happen at a very short period of time. And that is something which is very much uh, uh, appreciated in the context of internet advertisements. So, what kind of types of ads that are that are prevalent in on the internet? So, the first type is uh, that of sponsored search ads. So, advertisers bid on the keywords that are entered by the users during search. So, if you are searching certain certain things on the Google or Bing, um, the there are advertisers. Uh, who are actually bidding on those keywords and they, their ads being shown up uh, in, in the corresponding products that you are using. So similarly, you can see certain contextual ads. So depending on the content of that page, so maybe if, if that is a page on cars, then you will be shown certain ads which are related to, uh, related to cars. So, um, this could be from the web page, it can be from the post that you are making on a social media platform, or it could be your email message. So, these days, even if, uh, if, if you are using some uh, free uh, email uh, services, then uh, they use your data in order to show you ads. That's how they are. And the not so used uh, form of internet advertising. Uh, is that of display ads this is the traditional mode of advertisement so uh, if you are just uh, showing certain uh, ads on the on the newspapers uh, websites or some similar websites uh, based on just the, just their display they are being charged uh, those kind of advertisements are not uh, very popular in the context of internet because it has very little information that you can gather you cannot really target your users you cannot uh, see the context at which uh, uh, these ads are shown and similar other other aspects now uh, advertisements modern day advertisements on the internet is uh, is very very complex uh, so just to give you a feel of how it uh, uh, works in practice uh, they are generally hand handled by something which is known as the ad exchange so what is an ad exchange think uh, uh, this is uh, as an analog of telephone exchange in the traditional form of telephone uh, there is uh, some exchange uh, sitting at some some place some centralized location and if you are making the call to someone else uh, that uh, that uh, you are the client who is making the uh, request to that uh, to that exchange telephone exchange and uh, then this exchange will connect your call to the other side of the uh, of its network uh, which will be the, uh, the the destination the uh, the intended person whom you wanted to call now a very similar thing happens in this context here the destination is the publisher we will publish your ad so maybe this is the web page where your ads might be shown and on the uh, other extreme you are the client who has a specific advertisement to show uh, this is the advertiser's side and it has certain uh, requirements for instance it can uh, it might want to target a certain section section of the um, 
population or maybe uh, show ads for only certain kind of keywords all those requirements in certain form will be placed on the ad exchange so ad exchange is a mediator between these two uh, two parties and based on the requirements of the advertiser it will uh, place the bids automated bids on the on the publisher side uh, so publisher also can uh, give its requirements which kind of ads uh, it wants to show the ad exchange does the computation uh, and all the all the decision making of, of which ad should be shown at which position in the publisher site and that will be given back to the publisher so the publisher and the client uh, do not have to do a lot of computation the ad exchange actually takes care of all this computation and that uh, significantly reduces the latency the uh, uh, the complexity at each of these places so this is uh, typically uh, used by small businesses who cannot really customize uh, ads uh, on their own but they can ca customize their ads via the by these exchanges now let us look at the position auctions auctions where uh, uh, the objective is to sell multiple ad positions on a page so let us uh, uh, assume that there are n set of uh, advertisers these are the set of players that we'll be uh, talking about and there are m slots in the uh, in the advertisement so uh, in that web page there are m uh, slots starting from uh, 1 to to m and there are n advertisers who wants to show their ads in one of these uh, positions and we are going to assume that there are sufficient number of slots so uh, you never run out of uh, slots uh, the number of advertisers are uh, generally less than that and as usual the uh, the position one is the best possible position and m is the worst position uh, so everybody wants to show their ads and at the uh, at a higher level so this position auctions have also uh, uh, evolved over over the time so the very early position auctions uh, were ordering these ads via uh, some bid per impression so they were just charging these agents uh, or, or the advertisers based on the bids that, that they uh, they can uh, place for each of this impression so just to show that ad at that position uh, they will be charged a fixed amount of money and uh, these are uh, you can relate it to some something similar to newspaper ads so newspaper ads which are on the first page has a higher value uh, higher cost than something which is in the uh, in the internal pages and uh, what it does is it puts all the risk onto the advertiser uh, whether they will be able to uh, uh, whether they will be paying this money without knowing uh, whether that ad will ever be seen or will be clicked or whatever now uh, when the bids became uh, online uh, it brought the advent of paper click models so now the uh, so advertiser and the um, uh, the publisher are sharing this risk of uh, when the ad will actually be seen and click is a very um, explicit way of measuring that this uh, ad has been seen so in that in that situation what is uh, how the ranking is changed is that it now uh, instead of charging each of these advertisers on the impression alone it, it, it is going to going to charge on the click so uh, which means that the uh, the publisher will not ask the advertiser to pay anything if the ad is never clicked uh, but if it is clicked then they will have to uh, pay their bid and they will also so the earlier uh, versions of this uh, uh, pay-per-click auctions also rank them by bid, bid per click but the problem there is that uh, uh, some uh, some of these adver advertisers can actually bid a very high value uh, to a uh, to a situation to certain pages where it is not actually uh, relevant so it is showing some irrelevant ads uh, and it is it can be certain that it has a very low probability of getting a click but it uh, still reaches uh, to some of this population without even any payment so the publisher in that case earns nothing because those ads are never clicked so this is a loss on the publisher's side so to alleviate that problem that uh, the modern approach is that they rank advertisers based on the product of the probability of click and their bid value so not just by their bid value so this uh, probability of getting a click uh, 
uh, is what is known as the click through rate or CTR for short. So this is why so you can think of this uh, when you take the probability of a click and the bid value then this is the expected revenue that you are going to get because you are when the agent is getting uh, uh, getting that uh, click uh, it is get it is paying the uh, publisher that amount of bid value so that is uh, uh, that is giving it the expected revenue uh, when you are multiplying the probability of that click with the bid value so the ctr with the bid value so we will make a few assumptions on the advertisers valuation so the first assumption is that this clicks generate value to the advertisers uh, of course when uh, someone is clicking and going to their website uh, it is certainly getting some amount of value but all clicks are uh, going to be valued equally so no matter so for, from the advertisers side uh, it does not really matter whether the click came from the first slot or came for the last slot so uh, th this is uh, the, the position only affects the chance of getting a click it does not change the value so these are the two assumptions that we can uh, we, that will make our uh, analysis a little simpler so this actually helps us decouple the value effect and the position effect so once you get a click then uh, the uh, the user is actually uh, going to the website the website of the advertiser and it gets the same value whether the click came from the first slot or the last slot but there is a probability of getting a click which is actually giving uh, the chance of whether this uh, this uh, valuation uh, will get realized or not and that has a position effect so in some sense the vij the valuation of agent i when its ad is shown on the jth uh, slot uh, can be written as the VI so notice that this VI is the value of the click which is not dependent on the position at all the click through rate is essentially dependent on both the agents identity and also the uh, also the position so there could be so why is it depending on the uh, on the agents because if that agent uh, if that uh, particular advertiser who is the agent here has a very relevant ad uh, then the the quality component or the context component is very significant so uh, and uh, of course the position of that uh, ad is also important to uh, estimate the probability of getting that click so the quality component so the ctr ij can be actually decomposed into two components the first one is the quality component and the second one is the position component so therefore this can be decomposed into these two parts uh, so notice that this is the user effect or the um, uh, or the uh, adverse advertiser effect and the second one is just the position effect so the expected value so vij as we said is going to be the uh, this quantity uh, the uh, pj which is the position times the rho y which is the uh, the user effect times vi so now in, within this parenthesis we have isolated only those part which is the uh, the advertiser dependent and outside it it's pj which is the position dependent part and we are going to uh, always assume that uh, the position effect is always going to be decreasing uh, with the position so if you are if the uh, position is j uh, then it has a higher probability of getting a click than if the position is j plus 1 and so on now vi is the only private information of the advertiser that is what we are going to uh, assume in this context and we can see that both uh, the pj and the rho i are actually measurable quantities so we can actually uh, measure or estimate uh, the uh, this uh, rho i's let's say it is estimated as rho i hat and this is something that uh, the search engines always do uh, they try to find out for every advertiser what are their Y components and what are their position components? I mean, position component is common for all the agents, but uh, uh, the uh, the Y component is specific to a specific advertiser. Now, what bidders do? Bidders bid their BIs, and ads are ranked in the decreasing order, not just by their bids, but the product of this Y hat, which is the estimate of their uh, probability of getting a click, the user component. Of the probability of that click times their bids that they are making so we'll see that what properties it satisfies in the next module